Welcome to TAM Retail's mini demonstration series. In today's session, we will be discussing day-to-day um, -day sales reporting, uh, filtering, grouping, and sorting options in those reports. Okay, let's go ahead and share the application. Now, you can see we're in the TAM Office application here. Uh, TAM Office will allow us to uh, select through a drop-down menu very easily any feature that we want. And again, things can be turned off and turned on by security. So don't forget that TAM can restrict what your uh, associate or rather your employee has access to. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start with a very basic report called Daily Totals. We're going to preview that on the screen. But don't forget that any report in TAM can be previewed on screen email directly to someone you'd like to share the information with securely and also allow you to print it to any printer on the device. Now in the preview mode we also have the capability to do sharing with other applications. So it's very easy for us to click on the envelope and say we'd like to store this as an Acrobat or we'd like to make it Excel integration. So we'd like the data to go right into Excel, establish the data in columns for me. All we have to do is select that, click OK and away we go. So TAM also not only lets you preview, email, and print, but will let you share information very easily with other Office applications. Now the Daily Totals Report is a very basic report, but it is a financial summary of the uh, cash register activity. Now all reports in TAM can be run by any day, week, month, range, uh, when it comes to sales activity. So you can run it from a Wednesday to a Wednesday, from a, a, a November to February, and TAM stores all the data granularly and in a chronological order so that you can run a report for this year, for two-week period, and go right back and view it for two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, as far back as you want, as long as you've been using TAM. The Daily Totals Report does summarize tender information, and it shows description of those tenders, units, amount, and percentage of total. It also shows non-sale information, monies we don't necessarily get to keep, like sales tax. It'll break out sales departmentally for us, and will also allow us to see um, auditing information. So if we need to know uh, what types of discounts were done, any coupons that were taken, uh, we can see that if any voids were processed. It's again a thumbnail or dashboard overview of what's occurring at the registers for our management. We also have a customer average, uh, a customer count and average sale on the report as well. Now again, this is the leaping off point for integration to accounting. We'll talk about that later, but we do integrate not only to our own accounting system but to others. Uh, things like QuickBooks, GL, and AP are integrated to, as well as uh, Dynamics GP. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave this report. Let's go ahead. Now, it's nice to see a financial summary, but what if I'd like to see um, what SKUs actually make up that financial summary? Let's talk a little bit about this. Now, this is the first inventory management report or products and services report we're going to view. And this is going to allow us to see the same data that backs that up, and we'll preview it right now. So we'll run it for today, and now we can see exactly how much we did in each of our departments, what products were, or services were sold, uh, what donations were taken, what uh, merchandise was sold as well. So it's very easy to see that. Now when we're viewing a report like this, we can see the items that have been sold, we can see the units that were sold, gross sales, discounts, net sales, cost of goods, margin, and even margin percentage. There is a capability to track items that are non-inventory related as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in what's in a SKU because TAM does allow you to create services that don't ding against on hand, but you just want to track sales activity. So remember, SKU movement can mean SKU for stock keeping unit, the typical definition, but also in TAM it means sales keeping unit. So if you do track membership sales, collect donations, do gift wrapping services, any type of uh, basic rental revenues can be tracked. Uh, all of that can be done through what we call a non-inventory SKU. And again, we'll cover that a little bit more in what's in a SKU. Now, the nice part about, this, uh, about TAM's reporting is that it's very flexible. So we can run it for, as I mentioned, any time frame. So if you want to run it for the last 12 months, that's fine. 
we can go right to a calendar and select it from there as we want. So any date range is applicable. Once we've done it for a longer period of time, though, we may not want to see each and everything that's on the report. So we may want to filter it. And we can filter the report by any number of breakouts using TAM's uh, filtering uh, uh, control. Once, for example, we could do it by vendor. Now, a filter is not limited to just one parameter. In this case, I'm going to filter for just vendor Thai Inc. But I could also add additional vendors to that filter. So if I wanted to view two or three vendors on the report, or I could filter it further by any trait that's on the SKU, author, assortment, brand, department, category, units on hand, type of SKU, last date sold, um, promise quantities, anything. So we can be very flexible in what we see on the report. And we can combine as many of these traits as we would like to make the filter exactly what we need it to be. This means that you're able to see exception reporting. You don't have to wade through pages and pages of reports or view pages and pages on the screen. TAM will show you exactly what you need when you want to see it. So again, I'm filtering this report by vendor. I'm going to see just Thai products. I'm also going to group it by not department again. That's what we did before. I'm going to get a little more detailed here. I can do it by category. But don't forget, I can group it by any of the major traits on TAM, user definable breakouts, theme or classification, department, category, vendor, uh, publisher, all those things can be done. Now we also, once we decide how we're grouping it, can decide how we'd like it sorted. This means that we're able to sort items by margin, margin percentage, net sales. We can even make this a ranking report by units sold. So again, any report can be run in TAM, and the results will be uh, different for those reports. So TAM's got very flexible and powerful reporting capabilities. Now when we talk about reports in TAM, if you've received information from our organization or visited and talked with a rail sales rep, you're, you will have received either a link for the report samples or you'll receive hard copy literature with a little CD that you can view it on. So keep in mind that when you, you can look at every report in TAM, see how it's selected, sorted, how, how you can drill down into it, and you can do that through our report sample guide. Okay, that wraps up our demonstration today of um, our back office features, including daily sales reports, filtering, grouping, and sorting options. I'm going to return back to the meeting center just for a second. Don't forget, like always, I want to thank you again for viewing. But if you need more information or a live demonstration, please feel free to contact us today at the contact information shown here by way of email, phone, or website. Again, thank you for attending. Have a great day.